Hey guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. Guys, first of all, I want to apologize to all of you. I am uploading a video after uh, 10 to 12 days and so updating this playlist after 18 videos. I mean, I continue till 18 videos. I used to upload videos on alternate days. I tried to do so, but I was not feeling well from last two weeks. So I could not upload any video. And from today's video, which would be the 19th video of this playlist, we will start integrating payment gateways in our website till the next two or three videos. I told you in the beginning of this tutorial series that we'll see three types of payment gateways. I mean, three platforms like PayPal, Stripe and cryptocurrency will be in integrated into our website. The reason for this is that you also know that from whichever country you're watching my video, different countries has different different national payment gateways like in India we have cash free, reserve pay, pay you money etc. If you are watching my video from Pakistan then there may be a jazz cash or easy pesa I have heard about that. There is pay stack in which uh, which is very popular in Nigeria if I am not wrong. I am just giving an example that different countries will have different national national payment gateways but they are they are useful for only if you are receiving transactions from someone locally or you can say within your country. This means you are receiving any transaction from someone nationally. Only then they work. If you want to order international payment, then whatever you have it, uh, like I took the name of pay you money, etc. All these doesn't work. And if somehow they work, then there is a problem in international payment gateway also that may, many payment gateways give, give their approval in registered businesses. Approval in the sense which API that we need to integrate in a, into our website. They don't give to us if you are not a registered entity but I will tell you about three payment gateways like PayPal or Stripe. It also provides API to a registered individuals as well means a normal person like you and me suppose if we uh, do not have any registered company for example telling this if we are bloggers or like I am a youtuber I post anything on YouTube then here are, we are just uh, this is our first business you can say uh, you can assume so we does not have any government document registered for this in such situation if we have our own identity card like government issues cards of course we have our own identity I hope so you also have that so we get the approval from them like paypal business stripe and in crypto we don't need any approval we'll look into this further in more detail so this was also my reason to showing these three payment gateways and three payment methods was only from this everyone will get approval even through if there is a different uh, payment gateway that i have missed and you want me to do that also if it is international then better because it will be useful for everyone but still if there is any specific payment gateway that you want to install then you can tell me by commenting or email uh, inform me we'll make a dedicated video on that also first of all let me log in to my whm cs admin panel now from here we need to go to the system settings as usual we go here we have to search payment gateways. We need to confirm the admin password again. Now you can see uh, two are coming up uh, at the front. There two are also coming down. The reason uh, for this is that it's the official partners of WHMCS. But if you want to activate PayPal from here, then do not activate. I'll tell you the reason later. Here in the payment gateways, all these payment gateways are the default payment gateways in many options but we have to activate them from here by placing this module. We'll also see the crypto as well uh, which requires a module, the custom module. And in this way, I'll show you where many modules of payment gateways are available but right now we have to integrate PayPal. So for the PayPal, we have to select this PayPal basic. Not PayPal, keep in mind it's PayPal basic. From here, when we click on this, so our PayPal will be activated. It's showing order form, and from here, we can rename it to PayPal Basic uh, to PayPal. After that, this PayPal is asking us for email, which I will enter apart from that. It's giving us some options like force one time payments, never uh, 
shows the subscription button uh, so do not check this uh, button because generally it is only recurring in hosting work so if the subscription button does not show that means you cannot charge the customer when he himself will pay again then he has to pay so, so i'm sorry i am saying charge i mean to say you can't attempt to capture him until he himself makes a payment and after that for subscription do not enable this also as well in my opinion don't change anything uh, from here let uh, all four of them remain unchecked apart from this now let's see where we get these settings first of all we have to go to this url and from here as i told you if you have already have a paypal account then it is very very good you can integrate it within two minutes but if it is not then you will have to create and verify your paypal business account first and i told you that nothing like that see even individual accounts get it and that means if you select business account in your individual identity and have government issue documents whatever uh, you keep your business name is that you will have to keep it your as on but it seems uh, seen nowhere means after making the payment if anyone wants to see it if it can be seen the invoice but at the moment it's only integrating paypal means that by signing up for business you can take approval uh, from your personal identity card but currently i have an account so i can do login directly from here I have already enabled uh, the OTP and uh, the two-factor authentication which I have to enter. Like this I have logged in to my PayPal account. Now let me show you some links like this is the first link which we have to visit uh, at the either account creation or login page i have logged in into my account if not yours then you will first have to create your account i have given this specific uh, link if you enter manual paypal.com then it is not possible to be able to create personal account business account sorry now what we have to do is i am assuming that till now you have followed me step by step and create your account if so then you will get the second url you will get all these three URLs in the description of this uh, video. So you have to open uh, this second in another tab. From here, you have to go to the developer dashboard. If you are not already logged in, then you will first have to log in or create an account. It will ask you to log in and you will not see these options. Now from here, this sandbox of mine is selected. Sandbox means test environment and you, but you have to make it live and only after going live, this matter will be resolved. Uh, I am going this for sandbox because I am integrating it only for a test uh, purposes. So which means I only want to receive no real transactions at the moment. So from this, I have no problem. I have to go to the apps and credentials. And after that, I have to click on create app. Have to click on. From here, I can give my name, uh, any name of my app, like my app. Test. And from here, simply I will have to click on the create app. After that, my app test has been created from here. This is a test app sandbox. In this, it is also showing me that you are in a sandbox. Now from here, we have to go to, go to this uh, third URL, this one. And, and after that, when I again open it in a new tab. So some interface will open like this in front of your web page. Now 
you can see i am already logged in now that's why i am seeing all these pages if you are not there you first have to log in then i would not be able to see such pages it will say i have to first create an account now from here uh, you have to go to this option nvp uh, shop api integration from here click on the manage api credentials now from here we got such things api username api password and signature which is being asked from us and my email is the same uh, same one which i have used at the time of login so first of all i enter my email here after that from here i uh, need to click here show one by one first api username this is my api username and i am uh, using i copy from here and i have to paste it here after this comes api password i sh uh, need to click show it from here and after that i need to select and copy all these things i am hiding because this is one of my production account this is not a testing account it means if you get your paypal approved just once uh, that is enough means you can create multiple paypal accounts on the basis of same documents again and again so i only have one account which i have to show you how you can link in your case you should keep this in mind uh, that's why i'm going with the sandbox environment but you will have to go live to receive the real transactions and after that it's showing these currencies so i am selecting usd here i don't have any problem here selecting any currency i can take payments in all of three currencies but you can do it as per your countries or paypal allowance as per your requirements yes there is a problem in some currencies that you can get payment in one currency but not in other you have to enable it from paypal and it will never get enabled auto enabled uh, means that it is not allowed in some countries then according to that you should check that uh, like in me in my case all three are allowed like usd and euro first i had got uh, only inr uh, when i have created that account so anyways we have to enter everything now we need to click save changes and now you can see that's my paypal has been integrated now there is also easy video available uh, for this means if you have searched on youtube how to integrate paypal on whmcs so a big meaning uh, for you like i have got a paypal basic done by you in the same way you must have got first enablement of paypal done and you simply uh, see the login uh, you simply see the form when you do login to paypal a pop-up uh, model comes uh, here itself and it's uh, logging here and it simply automatically filled up all of your credentials but this is neither a good uh, for your business branding wise not security wise it is directly visible on the invoice that your account is personal and it does not even work uh, in my case like it does not work like i am from india so if you are doing this thing uh, from india then i'm sure it's not gonna work similarly this method is 100 percent works which i have shown you dependent upon you should have a verified business account so that after uh, you do not have any other requirement if you have enter everything correctly then paypal will work for you so in this way we can integrate paypal in the website and in the next video we'll see how to integrate stripe but for now that's all for this video i'll meet you in the next one till then please take care of yourselves and yes thank you so much for watching this video